vacation is really really crowded and you don't want to do that big pyramid line at not all. at all okay so the Louvre can be a very stressful place and there's an entrance that not many people know about and it's right over here All right guys, so another tip to skip the line and enter directly into the Louvre is by taking Metro Line 1 and stopping at Pele Coyar. And the stop is literally in the Louvre. So. <laughs> okay, so from when you enter this stairwell right here, it, allow <laughs> it allows you to skip the line, the pyramid line, and it allows you to go straight into security, and then from there on, you can buy your ticket. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, we're in the loop directly under the pyramid and we did not do a three four hour line so voila. all right guys so these are the actual stones of the fortress that used to surround the Louvre back in the day it's the real ones and it's really impressive All right, guys, so when you enter into this hall and you continue down and you're going to wonder where Mona Lisa is, you're like, oh my God, it's not here. The map says it is. So what you want to do to help you out, you want to look for this big door and these two entrances inside. You just want to enter through there and then Mona Lisa will be there. Okay guys, so if you really love history and you really want to look at each object in the museum, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you can't because if you did for only 30 seconds each, you'd be here for 100 days. And the museum closes at 5.30. So, good luck.
guys all heard about an eye for an eye. Well, it comes from the oldest code of laws that's 4,000 years old. Have you read this code? We are now on the second floor, which is dedicated to paintings, mostly Northern Europe, and it's beautiful. Alright you guys, welcome to the Middle Ages. and the king really lived there and a lot of what's in there belonged to him.